Hi friends, this is Rajeshwar Rayapati and welcome to uh, Rayapati's uh, Tableau training scenarios. Now in the last class, last video, we discussed about dimensions and measures. But when we were discussing about dimensions and measures, we made certain points like made certain points clear like some something which were not addressed. When I am saying measures create access, I was saying it is not, it is not totally correct. And even the statement like the dimensions create headers, even that is not totally correct. That is because in Tableau, now here if you see whatever lies within before this measure name just like right, these are all dimensions and whatever lies after that are measures. But when you hover over these, you are seeing this blue pills. These are called blue pills. See here, region is a blue pill. Sales is a green pill. The same way, if you hover that over that, you will see all these are blue pills and all these are green pills. Now, what once what I want to do is I'll right click on this and I'll click on this convert to discrete. The moment I click on this, now sales is no longer a green pill. It is a blue pill. That is because what did we do? We converted the sales to discrete. So whenever we are talking about fields, actually there are two separate ideologies which actually in are intermingled, but you need to understand them very clearly. Dimensions and measures, discrete and continuous. Now based on a field, they are based on the properties of a field, it is divided as a dimension and measure. All the dates and string fields goes into dimensions and all those measures that have IDs or some keys, they will go to the dimensions and all the other numerics, they come into the measures. So that level, you can clearly say this is dimension and this is measure. But coming to the part of discrete and continuous, now these have a clear distinction between dimension and measures but they, there is the, that distinction is by their data type and the status of their data type like strings date type these are data types based and their status they are they are uh, stated as dimensions but based on usage again there is a difference now everything every 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 field in your tableau or in your data pane can be a continuous field or a discrete field except for strings and boolean types that point is also made here this is made somewhere here so what is this continuous and what is this discrete discrete means distinct values now when we are talking about dimensions we made the same point now when i'm when i drag the region i'm getting discrete values distinct values okay now but when i'm dragging profit am i getting the distinct values no i am not but here this is because if you see on this this is a continuous field it's asking convert to discrete this is already a continuous field whenever a field is green in color it is continuous field Whenever it is a blue in color, it is discrete field. Now, if you see the sales is in blue color, so it says it is discrete field. Now, when I drag this sales to the view, now if you see sales is creating header, it is not creating an axis. It is creating a header. Now, this profit is creating an axis. So, that is the difference. That is the main difference. Let me duplicate sales. Uh, for more clarity, let me duplicate this and let me convert this to continuous and let me drag this here. Now, if you see here, sales again is creating an axis, but here this discrete sum of sales, it is creating a header. So, a slight correction of what we learned there and what we are learning here is discrete values create header, continuous values create axis. Okay, so you need to understand that difference between the discrete and continuous. Now, dimension and measure are, are decided based on their data type or based on their status. Now, 
discrete and continuous are defined based on their usage how do you want to use them in the future now when i am talking about this like let's let's click on uh, as i told you a string and boolean data types cannot be converted into continuous if i right click on this do you see convert to continuous option no right that is not there now let me look uh, right click on order date where is this order date yeah in this order it will be on the order date let me right click do you see convert to continuous option yes that is present let me uh row id is not present let me come down here our pin code right where is this pin code let me search for it. Okay, this field is not present in this okay but when i come to a measure when i come to a measure when i right click on this you can see there is a convert to discrete option and once i converted here when i converted one to discrete when i right click on that i can see convert to continuous option okay so whenever you have uh, what are the data types string data type number date boolean these are the main data types right so of these data types string and boolean can never be converted into continuous or discrete but number and date can be converted into continuous or discrete okay here i showed you how to convert a sales into discrete now whenever you have a discrete value it will never create a uh, access it will create a header but is that giving a unique distinct values now the sum of sales is here let me drag category to the name. now again category is slicing the sales here you can see again individual header for every every category so that is because now when we are contain converting a field into discrete it its values are converted into discrete but it doesn't have the uh, abilities of a dimension it is still a it is still a measure but it is treated as the values are treated as discrete values a bit confusing but you need to get this straight here the sum of sales the sales that you have here the sales it is still a measure it is still in the measure block only but it is discrete so whenever i drag sum of sales it never creates access it will create a header but at the same time if i drag a sales which is a continuous field it will create access okay now if i want to convert if i want if i want to if i don't want to uh, like any of these dimensions to slice my sales then what do i do is i will convert this sales into dimension i'm converting this to dimension when i click on this now the sales that is present in measures is now transferred to the dimensions column and when i drag this you can see every distinct value that is present in the sales it is no longer aggregated now it is creating a proper header now when i drag category here it is not getting sliced so you he, this is how you need to understand the difference between dimension and a measure and a continuous and discrete okay dimensions slice measures discrete values create headers continuous values create axes okay now if i want to convert a dimension into measure i can do it this as i told you you cannot convert a string field into continuous but i can convert it into measures now when i convert it into measures now this is converted to measure but if you see the aggregation here when you see default properties and aggregation you can see these number of aggregations possible but when you convert a string field into a measure then you can only have certain only these four aggregations will be present 
okay this is about dimensions and measures and continuous and discrete i know you'll have a hell lot of doubts and yeah please do make a note of all these doubts because if you don't you might forget but yeah bring all these doubts to the class tomorrow we will definitely discuss about these doubts okay thank you